This is a Grok chatbot using Grok API, completely developed from scratch. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. Here is Grok, the brain behind creating the end-to-end -end application. So here I'm going to think mode. So Grok is going to build the whole architecture and planning. So I'm going to give a description in natural language. Give me the folder structure, list of files and their functions if I want to create a chatbot that integrates 3.js for dynamic animation using Grok AI language model using AI SDK and stores the secret in Superbase. 3.js animation should automatically change its behavior while the user is typing. So after this, clicking send and Grok 3 is going to work. You can see it's thinking through the step-by-step -step process and creating all the required folder to set up. We can see it also browsed web pages to understand, thinking for 42 seconds now. It is also providing some examples, as you can see here. Now it's generating me the folder structure for chatbot and all the files and what it does. This is very detailed and I really like this thinking process. So just copying exactly the plan created by Grog3 and I'm going to use Lovable to create the end-to-end -end application. So pasting exactly the same thing generated by Grok3 and then clicking enter. We are going to use Grok3 API. So you might need to go to XAI to generate your API key. So this is where you generate your API key in XAI. So once after you generate, coming back to our previous tab, you can see all the list of files are getting created. That is super nice. I'm super impressed in the simplicity of how quickly and easily we can create any application. I just gave the initial prompt, that is a small one, and now it's generating me all the required files. And we are going to integrate Grok API. So here I can see there's an error. So I can just click directly, try to fix, and it will fix the error. Again, there's an error, trying to fix it again. Now we can see the interface on the right hand side. So I'm going to test this by saying hi. And now you can see a response that is a placeholder message. So the next step is to connect Superbase to set up Grok API key. Meanwhile, I see an error here again. So I can try clicking fix and it should automatically fix. Meanwhile, to connect Superbase, just click on this. Then you might need to create a new project in Superbase. I've already created that, test three. So I'm just going to click that and click connect. Now you can see it automatically connects. Your app is now connected. Now we need to set up our API key here in this manage secrets. I can also tell Lovable to do that. I'm going to AI SDK XAI Grok provider, just copying the instruction provided here as documentation. And I'm pasting that here, also saying set API key in the secrets and clicking enter. This is a proper Grok AI chatbot. And you can clearly see here, XAI API key secrets. So I can just click add API key. Then I need to enter the API key, which I created before. I'm pasting that here and clicking submit. I have now added the API keys you asked for. That is all good. And now it's making necessary code changes. And I can click that and I can see it's integrating XAI API key with the endpoint. That is really nice. I can see all the code changes happening right now. And now it is all ready. Let me try testing this. Just saying, hi, how are you? Seems like there's an error. So I can just say, there is an error. Check the logs and fix it. And now it's going through the error. Now it's fixing those errors. Now going to say, what can you do? Let's test this, thinking. And now this is a response from Grok API. That is brilliant. I'm going to say, how are you? And it responded saying, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How can I assist you today? That is brilliant. Now we have created a chatbot completely using XAI API key and it's running Grok at the back. So I can even publish this application directly now. I can also save this in GitHub by clicking this icon. You can also save this conversation history in Superbase database, which I have covered in a completely separate video how to save all the data, how to set up authentication for users to log in, which I put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.